Hey YouTube, how's it going? My name's Jonathan, and in this video I'm continuing a tradition which I've done for several years now, which is rounding up the very best ultrabooks that you can get in 2018. Now these are the ultrabooks that I feel deliver the best value for the best price, and you might not agree with all of my picks, but make sure to stick until the end of the video and let me know what your favourite ultrabook is of 2018 in the comment section down below. Now getting right into the video, coming in at 5th place is the Microsoft Surface Laptop, which is a full on traditional laptop designed by Microsoft. From the Italian imported fabric decorating the keyboard, to the gorgeous gorgeous 13.5 inch 3.2 pixel sense display, there's a lot to like about the Surface Laptop in terms of design and aesthetics, and when you spend a little bit more time with this machine, you'll find a computer that's actually a lot more competent than Apple's more expensive 12 inch MacBook. You're getting a minimum of an Intel Core i5 processor, 4GB of RAM, Intel HD Graphics 620, and an 128GB SSD, but you can obviously scale that way up, and honestly my only big complaint about the Surface Laptop is the fact that it runs Windows 10 S, which definitely limits the amount of things that you can actually do on this machine. I really feel like Microsoft should have just put the full version of Windows on here to make it as functional as possible, but again, that's a trade-off I'm kind of willing to make considering how well designed this computer is. Now moving right along to fourth place, I'm giving the nod to the Asus ZenBook 3, which is another computer that's going to make you think of the 12-inch MacBook. This is one of the thinnest and lightest laptops out there, but it actually packs a pretty decent punch. You're getting an Intel Core i5 or i7 processor, 16GB of RAM, and 512GB of storage, and the screen looks really nice, it's a 12.5-inch Full HD display. Display. There are just a couple trade-offs that you're going to be getting with this laptop, first is the keyboard, Asus kind of tried to imitate what Apple did with the butterfly mechanism for the keys, but they definitely didn't quite succeed and the keyboard just has the effect of feeling kind of mushy, and then also the fingerprint scanner for this laptop is actually in the top right corner of the trackpad, which is going to make dragging your finger around a little bit more concerning. Another thing that you'll be very familiar with if you use the 12 inch MacBook is the very limited number of ports, you're just getting a single USB-C port, I guess Asus figured that since Apple was doing it it was okay to do it as well, but it's definitely inconvenient only being able to plug one thing in at a time. Overall though, if you are in the market for a laptop as thin and as light as this one, you're going to have to be okay with some trade-offs, and the trade-offs that the ZenBook 3 makes are honestly not that bad. Coming in at number 3 is the Lenovo Yoga 910, which in my opinion could be the very best flagship 2-in-1 that Lenovo has ever made. You're getting a starting configuration with a 1080p touchscreen, a speedy Intel Core i7-7500U processor, a respectable 8GB of memory, and a 256GB SSD, but what's really impressive about this laptop is the fact that Lenovo kept the Yoga 900 same frame size and fit a larger 14-inch screen inside. The trade-offs that you're getting with this laptop are the fact that it heats up and gets loud fast, and also, the battery life is definitely nowhere close to what Lenovo is advertising. Lenovo says it gets about a 10 hour battery life, but realistically you're probably only going to be getting about 4.5 hours of use out of this laptop if you're watching movies or doing anything that keeps the screen on the entire time. Speaking of watching movies though, the Yoga 910 screen delivers a really amazing picture, it's got much slimmer results than before, and the laptop also sports really amazing speakers, so there are a lot of really good reasons to go out and get this as your ultrabook pick for 2018. Now second place in this video I had to give to the HP Spectre X360, this was definitely my runner up pick last time round, and it's just an amazing overall computer. It's among the first to sport the 7th generation KB Lake processors, but it's way more than just a CPU upgrade, it's thinner and lighter than it was before, and it's actually even more stylish, and this was already one of the best looking computers on the market. This time round the Spectre 360 is only 13.8mm thin, and it only weighs about 2.8 pounds, so it's a whole lot more comfortable using tablet mode than the old version was. To accommodate the new thinner shape, HP has changed up the hinge mechanism, and they've also reduced the keyboard travel, but it's still just as comfortable to use as it was before. The only significant downgrade is the fact that the SD card reader is gone, as is the HDMI video out gone, in exchange for two USB-C ports. Another thing I really do like about the Spectre X360, especially in comparison to the Lenovo Yoga 910, is the fact that this actually gets really good battery life. HP says you'll get up to 15 hours, I don't know if you'll get exactly that much, but you should get about 7-10 to 10 hours of use on an average charge. If you're looking for an all around excellent hybrid laptop, and one that can actually be scaled up to an Ultra HD display, the HP Spectre X360 is definitely the choice for you. But with that said, we now come to my choice for the very best Ultrabook of 2018, and this year, as in years past, I'm giving the nod to the Dell XPS 13. Look, this has been one of my favourite laptops for many years now, and the latest update of the XPS 13 is even better than before. It's got a new stunning 4K Ultra HD display option, and then also a beautiful new colour option called 
rose gold on alpine white. For its baseline price of $999, you're getting an Intel Core i5 8th generation processor, 4GB of RAM, and an 128GB SSD, but you can scale this laptop up a ton. You can scale it up to an i7 processor, you can scale it up to 16GB of RAM, you can scale it up to that beautiful QHD Plus 3200x1800 touchscreen I already mentioned, and you can also get it with up to a 1TB SSD inside. There's seriously almost nothing to dislike about this laptop. My biggest complaint is probably that the webcam is under the screen rather than above it, and that's such a small complaint it's barely even worth noting. You're also getting very decent battery life even with that QHD Plus screen, and that's something I always appreciate in an Ultrabook of this class. With that said though, let me know what your opinions for the best Ultrabook of 2018 are in the comment section down below, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you thought it was helpful, and with that said, I will see you next time.